Hi everybody, so today I'm talking about the new uh, Sonori Ultra Digital. So what this is, is a USB to um, SPDIF or I2S uh, converter. Um, some DACs, you know, use SPDIF. Uh, in this case, we've got this this large uh, uh, BNC connector. This is the, the lowest noise um, kind of SPDIF. We do have adapters, so you can go down to the regular RCA connector that's, that's more common. Um, I2S has no standard. There's there's actually a lot of different kind of uh, connectors. This LVDS, or also known as an HDMI connector, is the uh, the most common. Um, I can kind of show you what's what's inside this uh, this here. You can see these are uh, dip switches, and you can actually switch some of the pins on the uh, the LVDS connector, which is nice uh, because again, there's no standard, so uh, you would just get the pinout from your manufacturer, and you can you can you can swap a couple of these. Um, this is actually a, a pretty pretty nicely uh, made board here. You can see it's it's getting the power from the USB bus. Now that could that could potentially be a problem if your USB bus power is very noisy. Um, in this uh, case for this demo, we're going to use this um, optical rendu over here. So the optical rendu is another product by Sonori. You can see they're they're actually in the same case, which is cool. Kind of makes a nice little stack out of it. And this is a uh, a rune ready uh, player. So this converts uh, Ethernet. In this case, we're using fiber Ethernet uh, to USB, um, so that you can get the uh, I2S out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up a couple of these. I put the uh, power into the uh, uh, Sonori. Again, I want both the Sonori and the, the Ultra Digital. You want a really, really low, you know, some really low noise power. Uh, so I'm using a nice uh, linear power supply that we sell. Um, then I'm going to hook the two together with a USB cable. Uh, you want to use a short USB cable if possible for the uh, lowest noise. You know, the shorter cables don't don't pick up as much noise. Um, I'm also going to show you uh, how this works. For those of you who aren't familiar with, with fiber optic ethernet, it's literally just like the RJ45, uh, Cat5, you know, type of wire that you're used to, except for this is uh, optical cable, it's glass. So both the transmit and receive. So you see that, that goes into the back here. Uh, so again, this is, you know, this is ethernet. This is not uh, SPDIF or some of the other types of things that, that typically use, use optical. And you can see over here on my Ethernet switch, my particular switch has this little SFP slot here. Uh, so an SFP is this little the laser in here actually comes out. This is the, the laser that goes in here, and then you can plug into that. And this is great because it's isolating all the noise um, from your uh, from your Ethernet network, from your router, from your computer, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, uh, you know we're using Rune. You know we have a Rune server. I'm not showing that here. Um, it's all connected uh, uh, by Ethernet, comes into the player, USB. Now, you know, you could potentially hook this to anything uh, with USB out. Um, you're definitely going to get the lowest noise hooking it to a good player, like, a, like an optical rendu. Um, and then it's going out the uh, LVDS connector uh, to your DAC. I don't actually have a, uh, an I2S DAC here, so you can just pretend that I'm plugging it in. And there's your uh, complete... Um, solution playing room to uh, to an i2s uh, deck